Okay, folks, today is Sunday, October 30th. Um, basically, what's going on in my system uh, is a bit of a continuation of what happened last week. Um, last week, I, I showed how the lettuce that I had growing in my raft beds had all bolted, and um, my theory was that it was due to the, to the cloudy days, lack of sunshine that stressed the plants out. And so I had, I took all those plants, all that lettuce out, threw it out, and repla replanted it last week, last weekend. Um, unfortunately, the new lettuce, seven days later today, looks like it's going to be a dud. These all look uh, kind of stressed. Looks like some of them have already bolted. They shouldn't be all long and spindly like that. Uh, they don't look very promising. I haven't taken them out because uh, I didn't bring any replacement starters with me. I didn't suspect that I was going to have was going to have this problem. So I'm going to leave them in here for now uh, because I have nothing else to put in here right now. As to why these also bolted, um, I'm not sure. This last week was um, it wasn't the sunniest week in the world, but it also wasn't like the previous weeks where there was no sun. So I'm not sure what it was. Um, the starters that I put in there, I had bought an entire week prior to when I planted them. And they had been in a, in a very cloudy environment also. I mean, with almost zero sun. So maybe they were already stressed out before they were even transplanted. I'm not really sure. In any case, um, my other concern that I do have a theory about that I think might actually work has to do with my tomatoes and, and cucumbers. Um, they've grown tremendously, all sorts of green leafy growth, but no fruit setting. Um, the cucumbers, they get to about that size and then they kind of just fall off. They, they dry out. It looks like they rot off, but I know it's not. It's not a rotting process. They just kind of fall off. And so anyway, I went back and looked at my notes from uh, the aquaponics course, and I realized that one of the things that might be keeping fruit from setting are high levels of nitrates, which, um, as, as, as you know, I've had uh, all sorts of, of issues with. So I looked up how to reduce nitrate levels, and what I had to do was create a mineraliz mineralization tank for my water to pass through uh, at some point in the system. What that means basically is that I needed a place, and here it is right here, for the water to go, this is that pipe comes directly from the fish tank. It goes to the bottom of this 55 gallon drum. At the end of the pipe, the pipe just uh, discharges into the tank. And inside of this tank I have this um, saran material it's just it's just um, it's just regular saran material that you would use um, for ornamental plants or something like that but basically I just I shoved as much of that as I could into this barrel and so that causes the water to have to go through the saran and deposit particles all the particles that are in it from the fish waste onto the saran and what happens next is with those particles attaching there that's a food source for anaerobic bacteria. And what those anaerobic bacteria will do is they'll denitrify nitrate and turn it into nitrogen gas. And since I just only set this up last night, um, the process probably hasn't started yet, but I'm guessing in a week or two it should. And so what'll happen is that should cause my nitrate levels to, to decrease. And in fact, at the, uh, at the UVI, aquaponics setup they have a, a mineralization tank uh, area in their system in order to control nitrate levels and so when they want to have uh, low nitrate levels they clean the netting less often so that those anaerobic bacteria thrive and denitrify more nitrate than normally and when they want to have high nitrate levels they take the netting out and they clean it uh, more often. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Um, we'll see if it works. Right now my nitrate levels are, um, as you can see here, 
I'm guessing that's 80 or above which is actually a lot lower than they than they were not too long ago but I think part of the reason for that is because I had a bit of a mishap with this tank last night when I first set it up I won't get into the details but basically I, I lost a lot of water so I mean it didn't constitute a, a water change it does, it's not like I changed the water the entire system but I did lose a significant amount of water and that might be why the nitrate levels are, are, are lower now than they were not too long ago. I seriously doubt that any denitrification is going on right now. Um, so anyway, that's what the point of this is. Uh, the water then just exits through that little uh, standpipe that's there, and that goes into the sump. Now, if this was a larger system, I would be concerned about discharging that water um, into the sump directly like that, because there's a pump in that sump that then sends the water, some of the water, right back into the fish tank. And if that water has nitrogen gas, and uh, I, I don't remember what the other gases are called that are produced by the anaerobic process, but they're not good for fish. Um, so at UVI, what they have is they, they have a degassing tank in between their mineral, mineralization tank and, their, and the rest of their system. And I might set that up next week. And what it'll just consist of is a, is a, is a, is a plastic container somewhere between the, uh, between the mineralization tank and the sump where I'll put, put an air stick and just make sure that any of the ga any gases that are in the water come out. But I'm not too worried about it because it's a much smaller system and there's a lot of um, aeration going on in this sump anyway. So I don't think it's going to be an issue. But just so you know, that is something you should think about if you are going to set one of these systems up. So that's about it. Um, the, plant, the plants, uh, they look great otherwise, but they're not setting fruit. So hopefully that changes soon, and hopefully my next batch of lettuce um, actually works, um, and we get back into business. So that's about it. Thanks for tuning in.